Hey YouTubers, got a new statue today. This is the Iron Studios 1 10th scale Ant-Man. So I'm gonna get the Wasp tomorrow, but just wanted to make a quick video to show this figure to you. So this is my first statue from the 1 10th scale line. I normally don't collect this line due to the size. However, this is quite an impressive piece, especially for the price. You know, these run about 100 to 150 dollars for the 1 10th scale. This looks absolutely incredible. So here's the mass portrait. You can see that actually did sculpt in and paint the eyes on the inside. There's texture, detail, great paint job, even a little bit of weathering on the outfit. You know, this looks absolutely great. I love the pose and the concept of how he's transforming from little Ant-Man into big ones. You got these like translucent resin that are, you know, forming up into the big one. So he's just pressing the button to you know, become big. You got the little explosion base. It's a nice little base right here. It does come with a switch out portrait with the Scott Lang head, which looks absolutely fantastic, especially for, you know, a statue of this size. You can see, you know, this is painted better than most Sideshow 1-4 scale movie statues, which is kind of sad. But great on Iron Studios. The fact they could pull this off on such a tiny scale is quite an impressive feat. Uh, I will be getting the Wasp tomorrow, so stay tuned for that so you can see them together. So here's the Scott Lang head. You see, obviously, it's not very big. I'll show you as well this next to some, like, 1 fourth and 1 6th. So you can have an idea of how it would look next to some other statues. Uh, you know, let me just, just, you know, this thing's not very heavy. You know, the boss is four freaking pounds. But, for example, if I wanted to display him here in... My 1-4 scale, you can see the size, you know, it's Ant-Man, so he's basically just growing, so it could definitely fit in with any line, in essence, so obviously it's tiny. Honestly, if they made this into a 1-4, this would be like a freaking absolutely incredible statue, you know, so you can see next to Marvel 1-4, now it's displaying next to some 1-6, so just for example, here is my 1-6 scale. And it fits in great as well. So really, you can put them anywhere and it looks awesome. Uh, I'll probably just maybe display them right there at the Wasp. I'll decide once I get them. You know, because of the size, this easily fits in anywhere. Which is awesome because of that. You know, I could even fit it in right here if I wanted to. In my little Age of Ultron setup. Got going there. You know, just Ant-Man starting to get big. Really, really cool though. You know, and these pieces don't run a lot. There's a lot of one tenth out there. So if you're, you know, on a budget, don't have a lot of space, you know, let's say you're in an apartment, you don't have space for these massive ones like me, then this is the way to do it. You're getting great detail at a small size, but it looks awesome. You know, obviously it's not like this beast. There you have it, just a quick video. Iron Studios Ant-Man and the Wasp Ant-Man. Comes with two heads. You know, it's like 118 bucks plus 14 bucks shipping, so it's cheap. I'll get the Wasp tomorrow, and I'll do a video on that. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.